Hello guys, and welcome back to another cold episode. On today's episode, we are going to be finishing up a few projects around the castle, and ultimately it should finish off the castle. Uh, I, I need to finish off the landscaping here, just uh, finishing the uh, mountainous area around the castle, which honestly... Um, when I look at it, it looks really good. Um, and I think with the snow, uh, when it eventually snows, it should look really good. Uh, so I need to do that. And then I also want to redo the entirety of this uh, sugarcane farm up here. Because at the moment, it is uh, pretty bad. I'm not going to lie. Um, this whole idea, just it, there's so much that's going to waste. Um, it's extremely slow and there are just ultimately better ways to do it and so uh, i will basically tear this all out and uh redo it and it should look better and hopefully function better as well so we're gonna do that as well as um, the landscaping and then there is one more thing that we need to do and that is we need to fill um uh, let me get there real quick. We need to fill up the room that's right up here. This room um, with stuff. And I was thinking of making another Forge Master's room in here. Uh, I really do like this room and I would like at least a reason to come in here because I honestly really love this staircase and just the whole idea of this room. Uh, and so I think putting like a forge master room in here um, Similar to the one that we had in uh, uh, Down there would be pretty good and then we can have one up and one down and it should be pretty interesting um, And then that also gives us a reason to even uh, come up here And I like it. So those are the three things that we are going to do and I'm going to get started by finishing off the landscaping um, and I will catch you guys when that is all said and done. One second. Alright guys, welcome back. So, I finished the landscaping and it even snowed. So, hooray. Um, it didn't, obviously, snow for long and we'll have to wait for another snow. But, uh, we got it all finished. So, I'm going to fly around the outside now. Oh, I need to get rid of that portal. Yep, there we go. Um, I kind of got lazy. I'm not going to lie. And went with a very kind of standard look but luckily i still think that it looks relatively ruggish enough to be i didn't finish gosh darn it uh a relatively ruggish enough look to uh, i feel like make it look like an actual or like a a quote-unquote naturally occurring mountain something that wasn't human-made, or, uh, I guess, uh, I don't know, because it was formed unnaturally, so it does make a little sense, but, yeah, it's not exactly finished, and now I gotta kill these mobs, fantastic. Okay, so I'm gonna finish this, and then we will move on to the next one. Um, but yeah, finished up the landscaping. I'm super excited. All right, one second. All right, guys, welcome back. So I have finished up the landscaping and then I decided to clear out all of this off camera real quick. Um, and the design that we're going to be going for is Tango Tech's new sugarcane lossless farm. Um, and we're basically just going to modify it so that it fits within this space. Uh, I may take out more of the stuff up there so that we can put multiple um, modules as he calls them uh, and then we also have a lot of space down here if we also want to expand it um, even further and have it go down more um, but uh, at, at the time I think we're just gonna go for um, a few that can fit in here uh, so, I will leave a link to his video down mm. below, but if you want to go and check that out and check out uh, what design I'm using, you can go check that out, and then, um, yeah, I will be right back when I have finished 
one module to show you guys uh, how it all works. So one second. All right, guys, welcome back. So I went ahead and just finished it all because I'm bad. Um, <laughs> but no, in reality, I went and finished it because I felt like it would just make more sense to just finish it. Um, and it would be quicker and all of that stuff. Uh, but let me quickly get in here and show you guys uh, how this works. And I also need to make sure that I do the lighting. So, pretty simple design. If you watch the Tango Tech, vi Tango Tech video, it should all make sense. But basically, we've got... Um, well, we've got... Where's the thing? Sugar cane. Okay, sorry. Had to throw that away. So we've got observers here watching the sugar cane. Right? And so whenever this one grows, it will activate these pistons here and push the sugar cane against these iron blocks. Um, and then, or these iron bars. The iron bars are just there to align the sugar cane so that it's most likely going into the water. Um, actually, I think it 100% goes into the water from either up there or right here um, and then it goes down and travels onto the ice and then flows down into our collection system um, and that's the basic idea uh, and then the water up here is just in case like something pops up uh, or in case something falls down it's just a way to uh, more easily have access to uh, the water stream itself so let's actually head up here and we will make sure that this is all lit up um, and then we can no teleport gosh dig it darn it okay teleport there we go and then we want to put glowstone there and then frick off and then we will teleport up here. Get rid of... That's not the right block. That's the right block. Up. Bitty boop. Coolio. Um. And then... One more. And then that should be enough lighting. We have to keep it lit up so that we keep uh, the ability to grow the sugarcane. Because as you know, most plants require a certain amount of sunlight uh, or just light in general. And so, yeah. Ooh. And then it just goes down to our collection system right here. Pretty simple. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, moving on to our last project, we're actually going to do some, uh, some building. And similar to what we did in the previous Forge Master room, we are going to accomplish here, except we're going to kind of have it be two levels. So we're going to have like a station there, and then maybe like we'll have uh, resources and stuff like this up here. I don't think we're going to put any nightmares in here, um, but we will put a few things. So let me gather up the resources for that, and I will get started one second. All right, guys. So I started on the basic outline of this room down here um so i went with a just like again what we kind of did in the main foyer kind of area um just setting up some lighting uh i put in this fire uh, next to some anvils and some armor stands and then we'll probably put some armor onto the armor stands um just kind of like mix and matched kind of armor um and this area will be definitely a lot more of a forge rather than necessarily like a nightmare creation zone um so yeah we'll kind of go from there and then i think what i want to do is something like this something diagonally that connects these two And then, like this. Oh, yeah, no, 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 that was, that was right. And then we want, no. 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 Okay, that's fine. There we go. Something 
like that, maybe. And then, oh, hold on. Again, we're using the red to kind of outline stuff and make it look all nice and fancy. Ah! Stop that. Stop it. Oh, gosh, darn it. Okay, hold on. Hmm. Mm. Nope, I don't like it. <laughs> Tear it all down. But I do want to do something. Hmm. What if I tore out this? What if I tore out that and we did this? Oh, hold on. Let's go up one more. So we go two and two. And then we put a lantern. Wait, hold on. Oh, right. That's that's why. Because I'm bad. No, nope. that block. There we go. That, that, that. That. Okay. So something like that. I met. What? I Oh, because I'm out of inventory space. Okay, um, fantastic. Let's plop you down, put you in there. Head on back up. There we go. Wow, okay, I went very far up. Um, let's put big pillar right here. And this can actually go all the way up. Yes, yes. And then up here, we'll do something similar to what we will do down there. And just got to make sure that we get all the angles. Cool. So again, the red is just to add color since there's not really a lot of other ways to add color. Uh, so we're going to get rid of this guy as well. And we'll go. But up. But. Ha. There we go. Ha. <laughs> uh, oh. No. Not what I wanted. Actually. Hold on. That is what I want. Because look. Now we can put the armor stands. Ba da ba ba da ba. Like that. Okay. Cool. And now. Let's even do something like this. Ah. No, gosh darn it. Uh, where are my hat slots? There they are. And we'll create like a little table here. No. Ah! Okay. I got this. There we go. Okay. Something simple like that for the table down here. Um. Yeah. See, the stairs are right here, so I can't really do anything with this. Alright, well, I guess I could do this. Let's do... I guess those have to stay, but we can do something like this, 
and then we'll do walls. I really want vertical half slabs. You have no idea how much I want it. Oh, goodness. Just a simple vertical half slab is all I want. Is it really that hard? I guess it is. Because uh, Mojang still hasn't implemented them. looks even better okay so cool now down there is all finished I'll fix that later um, I might want a cauldron as well like maybe hmm. actually hold on let's do that yeah that looks better okay um, now for up here, I think this is where I want, oh wait, okay, so up here we'll have his like research and stuff, and then we'll also put a small cage up here, um, and I may need some more iron bars, not too many. Um, no. Gotta get the crafting table out of here. Iron bars, coolio, coolio. Get rid of that. How do I do this? Just a very simple cage. And we'll leave like a skeleton in here of some kind. Oh, do I need an iron door? Actually, I'm sure that I have one. Okay. Um, hmm. Do this for the roof. down. So the other guy I used iron for, and so I figured this guy we will use uh, gold for. We'll have gold kind of everywhere. And then obviously we want the banners. Um, we'll put a banner there and a banner there. Uh, I think that's the only place that I really can use the gold blocks. And we'll put blood in here. We'll put some item frames, and we'll put some other stuff up here. Um, we'll put some blood on the walls to make it look like the, the blood splattered on the walls. And he hasn't cleaned it up. Cool, cool. And then over here, we'll have some bones and um, rotten flesh. Oh, uh, let's put that away real quick. Put that away, put that away. Cool. Um, and I think that's about it. I don't, I don't really think I want any doors. I thought I did, but I don't think I do. I think, I think I'm just going to do a cage instead of having a door. I think it's just going to be a raw cage. Because I don't think an iron door would look good, and I don't think the the bulky designs that we have normally with the iron blocks is going to look good either. 
So I think that's what we'll do. Um, here, let's actually add a pillar onto this. So basically the same thing that we did there, except this one is going to go all the way up to the tippy top. Yay. Put that. Ah. Oh. Uh, it's fine. Do you want to know why? Because I can just do that. Oh, that's going to look weird. Um. Okay. Well, it's not going to look the great. Where did. There it is. It's not gonna look the greatest, but it will, it will work. It will work, at the very least. So, pop that out, pop that out, pop that out. Gosh, darn it. Okay, bada bing, bada boom, bada bum. Okay. Yeah, that looks fine. We'll get rid of all that. Okay, I'm gonna go get the rotten flesh and bones and uh, and the armor, and I will be right back. So one second. All right, so I went and got the armor and just placed it on there. I just got whatever I had, um, and then I've also put the bones and rotten flesh in there as well as there, and I think that's about it. Oh, I also put a few paintings up. Put that one up there, and then I put these two, and then this one. These are like the only paintings that I use, because they're the only ones that like fit this theme. Anyway, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope that you guys did indeed enjoy. If you did, a like is very much so appreciated. And if you want to check out more content like this, as well as the rest of this playthrough, just be sure to subscribe. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to always stay frosty. Bye-bye.